the large amount of investment in R&D produces innovation and contributes to Switzerland's competitive edge and economic growth. Switzerland and the pharmaceutical industry have enjoyed a successful relationship spanning many decades. The country has an attractive regional tax and economic policy conditions and access to first-class education and research facilities like the ETH and the University of Zurich. There's also a good availability of highly qualified workers, efficient infrastructure and a high standard of living in Switzerland. All of this makes a Swiss life science cluster particularly attractive for companies to invest in. Approximately 3.3% of Swiss GDP is accounted for by the life sciences R&D expenditure, making Switzerland a world leader ahead of countries like Germany, Denmark, the US and the UK. Therefore, the pharma industry and R&D are of great economic importance to Switzerland. The large amount of investment in R&D produces innovation and contributes to Switzerland's competitive edge and economic growth. Pharma, and in particular R&D, has always been reluctant to embrace new technologies. However, the pandemic has forced the sector to digitalize and ease patient burden. But reducing cycle times and increasing operational efficiency remains a pressing concern for an industry struggling to improve its R&D productivity. Digital technology, analytics and data are being adopted across the R&D continuum to increase speed to market and meet the changing needs of the patient. As pharma moves rapidly into the digital age, they must rethink talent strategies, create alliances to access digital talent at source and invest in reskilling existing talent. Switzerland needs to provide a suitable environment for emerging non-traditional R&D investors like tech players. Switzerland can create an environment that builds on current life science and healthcare clusters and facilitates strategic collaboration and smooth data sharing along the value chain. A strong focus on digitalization, data interoperability and addressing sustainability are key imperatives to improve productivity and patient centricity. In addition, the regulatory risk space should be developed to accommodate ever-evolving new technologies. This will help attract new R&D stakeholder entrants like tech startups and tech giants and encourage global strategic collaborations.